Hi, welcome back to my channel. Here's a quick unboxing of a deck that I've been on the fence about. Um, Amethyst Ascensions uh, really had my first peak of in interest with this deck, but there's one card that um, I'm, I'm unsure about in the deck, which means I may not use it. So that's why I've held back on buying it. And then Sandra at uh, Spirit of Avalon um, also showed it and just kind of like prompted me into buying it because I realised I didn't know that... Um, here in the UK, it was available because the other thing about this is obviously the taxes and the postage getting it from um, outside of the UK it makes it an exceptionally overpriced deck for something that I might not be able to use because one card. Does that make sense? So that it's like a frivolous purchase to have on my shelf for that one day I might get over myself. <laughs> um, and it turns out that little red tarot in the UK had this in their indie deck selection. So they have a lovely shop of indie decks. Um, it just means it makes decks slightly more affordable and easy to purchase. And this deck um, is now on version two. So I don't know what's in here. I think I must have version two because I clicked for pre-order and it arrived three days later. So I can't fault the postage from Little Red. It's come in this box with all these cute stickers and obviously my address label was there. So I just love the touch. I mean, obviously none of this is even necessary but it's just um i think that's what you call happy mail in the post isn't it <laughs> a bunch of brightly colored stickers um and then opening up inside here's what we've got so if we just take it all out this is the deck very tightly packaged and we have some cards so um Here's their calling card. So Little Red Tarot, Indie Tarot and Radical Magic. A nice little thank you. So if you want them, they are, um, that's the email for the shop and it is littleredtarot.com if you're wanting to look up the shop on um, the Tinternet. So we have a back of a card. Anyone recognize that? That looks like bamboo. I think this is like the panda, way the panda, because so many people on YouTube have this deck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Eight of Cups. See ya. <laughs> I hope that's not waving me off. <laughs> um, and then we have the new deck interview spread. Ah, okay. Um, I don't interview my decks, but if I wanted to, we've got one here pre-made. Tell me about yourself. What is your most important characteristic? What are your strengths as a deck? What are your limits as a deck? What do you require from me in return? How can I best collaborate with you? What is the potential quality of our relationship? And what is your guidance for me today? I mean, that is actually a nice touch. I know so many people love to interview their decks and that's how they sort them out into categories and things. Um, I kind of, I'm on that bank of very few of my decks offer special things. Most of them, because it's a tool, should do everything. Uh, that could just be me forcing it to bend to can you guess what it is yet? It is Tarot of the Cosmic Seed. So this it must be version two because it's a different colored box and we have the sun card by looks on the bottom. Right, let me just get something to get this open. One second. Okay, it's all the plastic wrapping off. So the box is different. I think the first edition came in a lovely pink box. Damn, because <laughs> I love that box. Although we have this on the bottom. So I don't know if this is um, on the bottom of the original version one. So this is second edition, I guess is what we're calling this. It's by uh, Lelania Lelan... Simone. Sorry, I ain't got my glasses. So I couldn't tell if that was another L in there or not. And it says, nurture your intuition. Cosmic Seed, Sacred Goods, second edition, thousand printed. So we've got thumb holes. Let's get this open. You are the Cosmic Seed inside. And then we have a guidebook for Tarot of the Cosmic Seed. Ah, uh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> I loved the backs on the first version. I mean, I loved the backs on the first version damn it i was hoping the backs hadn't changed never mind it's not the be all and end all is it the the backs on the other version if anyone's aware was a gorgeous solid blue with an eye on it and then it had um, a yellow snake winding around um yeah never mind so the guidebook is 
very simple and small. A journey into the experience of life, a vibrant and diverse spiritual tool, bridge of the mysterious, it's blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> cosmic seed is representative of you and I. We are infinite cosmic spirits enmeshed in sacred flesh for time. Here on this planet, we are seeds of... Sorry, when I say that, blah, blah, I'm not being disrespectful to what's in here. It's just that it looks like stuff that we all are very familiar with for those of us that have read many beginnings of decks. So what I'm meaning is it's stuff I've read, not... Um, nonsense uh, i forget sometimes i should explain myself because i have a very different quirky personality <laughs> uh, we have a little bit here about how to use reversals and we have a spiritual growth spread with seven cards spirit work at hand what is blooming or unfolding for your spiritual work the cards indicate environment and support and or challenges that may arise to the work progression as you work through an outcome of further progression and then we're straight into the cards. So we have slightly different names. So we have the Wanderer. We've got keywords, and then we've got some information, and then we've got um, reversal possibilities for the card. High Priestess, so Sacred Feminine for the Empress, Sacred Masculine for the Emperor, Teacher the Hierophant, Lover's Chariot, that's the same. Strength is eight, Hermit. We have Fortune, Justice, Death, Hanged, One, Temperance. In Hanged One's very popular terminology now, isn't it? Star, Sun, Moon. Have I missed? Liberation for Judgment, the world. And then we have an extra, the Cosmic Seed, which is Electron Source Potential. Infinite potential exists in the quantum realm and can move between dimensions, realities, in all directions and through matter. This is like the Kundalini card that I suggested years and years ago in a um, group when they asked what should the like 22nd card not being the full be. And we have our suits. So, oh, our, so our court cards are... Messenger for page makes sense. Action of wands, yeah, that makes sense. That's, um, sorry for knights, action for knights. Uh, nurture for queen, yeah. Mastery for king, yeah, that goes with numerology. Okay, let's take a look at the cards. And there's the bottom of the deck. So it's kept its blue gilding. Phew. <laughs> I really like that as well. Um, different backs, gilding. I don't know if the cards are different inside either, um, if I'm being honest. So let's bring you down. Let's take a little look at what we've got. It's just a really beautiful um, deck. And it's this, it's this card. This card is my screensaver wallpaper on all of my devices and has been <laughs> for a very long time. Um, that's how much I like the deck. Let's do. Okay, I like the way the magician's been set out with the as above, so below, head and heart, and the elements. Okay, interesting picture of sacred feminine, sacred masculine. So, like cameo pictures. Um, I think Sandra said this is Thoth. I'm not up in on my Egyptian knowledge. Uh, the lovers, I like that with dragonflies. Chariot. So we've got Hermit. Here's our lantern. There's, um, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but there's like the sacred geometry pictures in the background on some of these. A wheel. Justice. The artwork is... Um, 
beautiful in these. Unlocking yourself. Look at that for a tower. I love the purple eye. <laughs> at least I have a brooch like that. Oh, lovely moon. The, uh, is that the death moth? There we go. The sun card. This is the card that, you know, caught me, caught my attention, caught my kind of inspiration all that time ago. Well, I say all that time ago. When did um, Amethyst get this? I think it was like in... Uh, I want to say like April, May time, I feel. <laughs> I've been dribbling over this deck. Here's our cosmic seed. I like that with a dandelion seed. Floating on time. To who knows where. So our Ace of Cups. I think the word I was looking for is collage deck, isn't it? So it's a very definite collage deck with the style in which um, a lot of my decks are currently sitting, actually. So I suppose the other question is, how many of these do I need? How many is too many? Um, so it's got a lovely surreal effect to it, isn't it? Lovely surreal effect to it, isn't it? I think I prefer this to... The moon child. Right, so here we have the messenger. The action, so we have movement with the boat. The nurturer. And our master. Nice of coins. Interesting with the um, angel there. That looks like it's in the Oracle of Fallen Angels. I suppose it might be if this is all free art put together. Well, that reminds me of that deck. That's seven. It's a nice, bright, colourful card. And eight. It's got a kind of mending aspect to it, hasn't it? But I suppose when, when I'm, for me personally, when I'm mending, I'm mending later at night. It's not in my daytime schedule because I have other things I have to do, like work. So things like this come out at night and then you can easily, um, you know, sometimes it takes longer than you're expecting. Before you know it, it's ridiculously late. Uh, easily takes you into the, beyond the hours of night. All right, that was the elephants. action no actual movement here besides growth nurturer so so far it's looked like the nurturers are have a more masculine appearance to the mastery kings Okay, so this is the suit. <laughs> this is the suit, so let's try not to uh, panic on screen. Two of swords. These are three with the rose. Rusty, they look like rusty swords in the rose. These are four. Nine. myself eight 
So it's this next card. <clears throat> I couldn't think of anything worse, I'm sorry, but that is a nightmare card all by itself. Um, and this is the card that gives me the EBGBs. Okay, this is this this card belongs in my creepy decks <laughs> series I did a year or so ago. Um I need to work out how to cover it up basically. So <laughs> probably see if I could uh, put a sticker off here and cover it to be honest and then I can use the deck because that will stop me from using the deck and that it's the reason why I didn't buy it when it was at version one we have a Scorpio it doesn't bother me <laughs> um, messenger of swords I think it's because I've woke up so many times with spiders and things next to me in my, you know, when I've woke up from my sleep that it's like, it just freaks me out the fact that they've been, you know, climbing all over my face and God knows what whilst I've been sleeping. You know, all the jokes and the memes that go around. Um, what's the worst one I've seen? Uh, washing their balls in your mouth while you sleep. <laughs> Excuse me for the graphic <laughs> detail there. But yeah. And the other one, what's it? You eat so many spiders a year. Yeah, it's not not my not my favorite form of protein. Um, so just that whole image while I'm asleep, that's just nightmare inducing for me. Uh, there it is. So that was like the sun that was on the back of the cards for anyone that recognizes it for um, the previous version. And that is a really, really gorgeous four of wands. Here we have our snake. Seven, eight. It's a nice card stock. I'm well aware that this shuffles really well. Um, I've seen some people enjoy this one. So we have ten of wands. Messenger. I love the wand. Action. Also quite in... Um, I'm quite liking the element aspect that they're putting into them for the knights, um, but we do have a definite kind of movement here with this one. Nurturer of Wands. Spoke too soon, clearly. We're now back to a female for a queen. And then we have a male for the king on the wands. Interesting, they chose the wand suit to do that. There you go. That is actually, I'll do that so you can have a look. So there we are. That is the Tarot of the Cosmic Seed. It's only a quick flip through. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you to littlered.com for sending that out. So super speedy. Um, it was amazing. And uh, keep an eye out for this one. See when it turns up in my monthlies um, for use and what I do to that card. Till next one, take care. Bye-bye.